everyone, I'm Shannon. Welcome to another Live It STEM Challenge. One significant effect of climate change is that it's causing the ice on Earth to slowly melt away. This melting affects living conditions for both wildlife and humans. Some of this ice melt contributes to rising sea levels, which creates new challenges for communities built along the shoreline, especially in the Arctic. Sea ice is found in the Arctic Ocean, includes shore fast ice that helps protect communities during spring storms, and icebergs too. Land ice rests above the sea level and is found on land, just like glaciers and ice shelves. In this STEM challenge, we will discover which type of ice contributes more to sea level rise. Is it sea ice or land ice? What type of ice do you predict will cause the water to rise the most, and why? Okay, let's dive into this icy challenge. You will need two clear containers of the same size, small rocks, ice cubes, water, a marker, a ruler, and a watch. Fantastic! Now, let's melt some ice. Start by creating the land. Divide the rocks into equal parts and place them into each of the containers. Arrange them to one side so that they take up approximately one quarter of the space. Label one of the containers sea ice and the other land ice. In the land ice container, place as many ice cubes as you can on top of the land. And then, in the sea ice container, place the same number of ice cubes into the empty space. Pour water into each container until they are approximately the same depth. And remember, don't fill past the height of your land and make sure that all of the ice cubes in the sea ice container are floating. Draw a line on each container marking the height of the water level. Now, let's observe. At five minute intervals, use your ruler to measure the depth of the water for each container. Record your findings using the chart provided or in a notebook. When all of the ice has melted and you have taken your final measurements, chart your findings on the line graph. In which container did the water level rise the most? Why do you think this was? Which ice melted first, the ice in the water or the ice on land? Was this what you predicted? Looking at your line graph, can you determine if the sea ice melted at a consistent rate? And how can scientists use this information to plan for the future? Thanks for watching. We hope that you have a better understanding of how climate change is impacting sea levels. We'll see you next time.